Hey guys, Cam King, Grassfed Marketing. All right, so today I wanna to share with you the secret to getting people to opt into your email list. So this is the one thing that if you do this right, you don't have to worry about any of the other tips and tricks and hacks and strategies and tactics that encourage people to sign up or subscribe or to join your email list, okay? This is the only thing that you really need to worry about. This is the only thing that if you can figure it out one time, the first time, right now actually, you don't have to do any figuring out. What am I saying? I'm about to show you what to do. I'll, I'll, t I'll tell you what it is, I'll tell you how to do it, and then I'll give you an example. And if you're interested, at the end of this video, well, I wish you were here so you could remind me because I don't have much of a, of a memory, but I'll try to remember. So at the, at the end of this video, I will actually have it in the description of the video. So you click down there, the little arrow, into the description. I'll put a link. Now, you just click on the link and, and tell me, you just drop your email in that link, and I will send you the actual template, right? The actual script. So what the secret that I'm about to share, I will give you that for free. And you know me, I don't ever ask for anything in return. Um, I, I mean, this is what I do. This is what grass-fed marketing is all about, is me sharing all the things that I've learned. And then also the things, not that I've just learned in marketing beef, but over the last 15 years, being a marketing advisor and consultant all across the world in all different sorts of industries, and now bringing all of that kind of that wealth of knowledge and expertise, along with most importantly the incredible group of mentors that I've been fortunate to have, and bringing that into the grass-fed beef world to share with you, grass-fed producers all over the world. So this is the thing, though. This is the number one thing. If you can do this, um, then you never have to worry about low conversions. You don't have to worry about people. Um, joining your email list and then unsubscribing right away or, or never joining at all. And here's the thing, Here, here's what it is. You have to offer them something that is irresistible in exchange for their email, okay? Now, that I know is not that surprising. It's very logical, common sense, it, it feels right, doesn't it? When I said it, you probably thought to yourself, well, yeah, that's just, that's obvious. That's the right thing to do, it just makes sense. If that's true, why aren't you doing it? Now, I don't, I don't ask that question, I'm not pointing any blame, because I was the same way for a long, long time. For years, I was the same way. And it wasn't because I wasn't trying to figure this out, I just didn't know exactly how to do it. I didn't really understand what it meant to, to craft an irresistible offer, to pr provide, right, present an offer to the prospective email subscriber that they could not resist, that they could not turn down, that they have to have. They have they needed to have. Um, but when I finally learned how to create offers like that, it changed everything. Because all of a sudden, instead of one out of a thousand or one out of a hundred, now we would get 30 or 40 or 50 out of a hundred people that were coming and seeing that offer were opting in and joining our list. And that was, I mean, when we figured that out, this is about maybe seven, eight, nine years ago, that changed everything. Um, and email is not what it, what it once was, right? It's not quite the moneymaker that it was in 2002, but, uh, or in 2005 or 2000, or even a couple years ago. However, it still works and it works really, really well. In fact, it's still, in my opinion, the number one way to communicate with your prospective audience or your prospective customers and to introduce them to your product, to nurture them over time, to progress them through your funnel and to sell them your product and to get them to continue buying from you consistently over time essentially forever. So email is where it's at. And how do you create an irresistible offer? Well, irresistible offer, there, there tend to be three, three kind of components or things that we like to think about when creating an offer like this. One is the offer itself, right? What is the value or benefit that you are, you're presenting them with, right? So there's an intrinsic kind of value that your offer contains that they want or that they feel that they need in their life. Or maybe it's a solution to a serious problem that they have in their life. And it could be, for example, Maybe it is a working mom who has 30 minutes before, you know, when she gets home from work to make dinner, before her husband gets home, before the kids get home from piano or basketball. And so she has 30 minutes she only, to, to cook the family meal. And that is stressful. It's stressful trying to decide every single day what she's going to cook. And so it's always on her drive home from work where she's already just like trying to forget uh, the stress and, and, and kind of the headaches of work and leave them behind. Now she like steps into the car and all of a sudden it's a whole new type of stress because she's like, all right, what am I gonna make for dinner? Trying to think of what's in the fridge right now. When was the last time we went grocery shopping? What did we get? What did we have last night again? No, Susie doesn't like that and Johnny likes this and, um, and, and my husband's allergic to this thing. Like, like that, there's a lot of pressure. There's, it's, a, it's a big responsibility. And so 
uh, that could be a, a problem that your prospective buyer, your prospective email subscriber has that you could solve with an offer such as, um, it's off the top of my head, so like five easy to make meals, 20 minute prep, three minute cleanup um, for a family of four using just ground beef and two other things. Right, like that's, and now all you have to do is go find five recipes and put them together and package them easily just like in a Google document and just go and click on file or whatever and convert it into a PDF and all of a sudden you have a free download or a free, like a, yeah, you have a free gift, right? A free offer that would be irresistible for that person. And the, the way that we, so we combine the offer itself, the, the value, the benefit of the offer with urgency, okay? That's the other part of, of crafting an irresistible offer is urgency saying, you know, get this now before, you know, while it lasts. It's maybe, maybe it's only um, this offer, we're taking this offer down in seven days or in 24 hours or at midnight tonight, okay? So that's the second part is that sense of urgency. Scarcity is another one. Scarcity with a, with a digital product, like a, a digital offer like this, you could say um, only for the first 50 people who subscribe, right? Or for the next 50 subscribers get... Um, the, the next 50 people to, to join our co-op email list get access to, and then you list the actual offer, right? That the five recipe, I forget what I said, but the five recipes that take um, 20 minutes to make and three minutes of cleanup. So you, you craft, okay, so the irresistible offer, the three, kind of the three legs to this three-legged stool, which maybe is a terrible analogy, but is the offer itself, which is the value or benefit that you're providing, um, uh, urgency, right? and then scarcity. So bundle that up into an offer and instantly you have an irresistible offer. And one that, if you put that out there and, and let people sign up using that irresistible offer, you will see your email subscriptions just go through the roof. So that's the secret to increasing your email conversion rate. Um, and go do it right now, it's super easy. Like I said, you can just take the example that I just gave you. It wasn't that great, but pretty good for off the top of my head, I must say. Um, and if you liked it, feel free to use it. Like, no copyright here. There's no pride, pride of authorship on that. Take it, make it your own, or, or keep it just how it is, and go find those five recipes and, and craft that into an, into an offer. It doesn't have to be five, it can just be, um, you know, here's an easy to make meal for tonight, right? That's it, it could just be one thing, but the point is craft the offer which the value with the scarcity and the urgency and you have an irresistible offer that will absolutely work for your business so go go do it go implement it start before you're ready go do it and succeed all right i'll see you guys later